Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in XR Photo 2022, and I'm walking through one of the new capabilities that was added in this upgrade, which is the Duplicate Finder. Super useful, super powerful, super helpful, and I'm gonna get into that in this video. Now, first off, if you don't know about XR Photo, it's basically an AI keywording tool that will automatically, based on using AI to examine the contents of each image, it will add keywords to those images. And honestly, it's amazingly accurate. I've used it across my entire photo library, which is like 250, 300,000 photos. And now I've got keywords across all of them so I can more easily search, organize, catalog, things like that. But what I also have is quite a few duplicate photos. And that's because I've either taken a lot of photos of the same thing with slightly different adjustments each time, or more recently, I've been to a, a few events where I shoot portraits. So these might be models looking to add photos to their portfolio. And the bottom line is I walk away with a lot of photos that are pretty similar. And maybe what I wanna do is sort through those quickly so I can get to the best one of each model so I can get that photo edited and over to that person for their portfolio. And that's where this new capability comes in. Super helpful, super fast, and super useful. I'm gonna cover that. But first, I wanna thank XR for sponsoring this video. They reached out to me and said, hey, would you make a video about this duplicate finder capability in XR Photo 2022? That's what I'm doing here. I will note if you already own XR Photo and you wanna to upgrade to the current edition with this duplicate finder capability, it's a $29 upgrade. I'll put a link to that down below. That is an affiliate link. So this capability I think of as being incredibly useful for like wedding and portrait or event photographers, which is kind of what I'm covering here. I would call this an event uh, and it's a portrait event specifically, definitely not a wedding. But the point is in those situations, you're probably gonna take shot after shot after shot, slightly different, but really incredibly similar photos and you're looking for the best ones. However, the interesting thing is I've also been using this against my landscapes and cityscapes, and I find that super useful as well. So let me show you. I've already added this folder of photos from this event the, uh, just the other day. And as you can see here, I've got 549 photos. And if you scroll through, you can see, I mean, there's different shots of people that are va basically really similar, slight adjustments each time. And what I wanna do is sort through that quickly, find the dupes, and move on so I can edit the photos and get them back to these models. So XR has already done its magic of adding keywords to all of these. I've added some of my own custom keywords, and now I'm ready to go do this sort and this duplicate finding. So the icon over here, as you can see where my mouse is hovering, you hover over that, it says find duplicates. I'm gonna go ahead and click to do that. And this is where your menu comes up that basically, it, this is where you're telling XR, here's what I want you to look for, here's where, what I need you to do. So the first little section here is called find in. And so this is, hey, am I searching the whole database? In this case, no. I'm selecting the current view, which is this is the folder that I'm in. You can also come in and do specific folders to include in the search if you'd like to, but I'm gonna go with current view. Now there's also duplicate types. There's the exact duplicate, which literally means exact. That's gonna take longer and it's gonna probably return fewer results because it's, it's literally has to be an exact copy of the photo. I primarily am using near duplicate. As you can see here, there's a threshold that they uh, call the similarity threshold, which it makes sense. It's like how accurate or how similar do you want this search to be in terms of the results that it returns? You can go all the way from the left being very strict, which is gonna be closer to exact duplicates, but not exact, to strict, to medium. I tend to do medium most of the time, but sometimes maybe I wanna do a little bit looser definition of how similar I want these to be, um, and uh, very loose, right? So I'm gonna go with loose in this case. Now here's where I use it on landscape photos, and that is sequences or bursts, where you can actually pick the maximum time between photos. Maybe you shot a time-lapse sequence, maybe you shot HDR brackets, which I've shot a lot of, and you wanna sort through and find maybe just the best one or maybe one in particular that you think looks great that you can go edit, and I'll show you an example of that in a moment. I'm gonna stick with near duplicates and a loose similarity threshold, but then also down below, you've got some filters, and these filters, as you can see, you can exclude specific folders or collections. 
you can exclude specific file formats. So maybe you shoot with RAW and JPEG pairs. You could come in here and exclude the JPEGs, for example, just to find the RAWs because maybe that's all that you want to edit. Or maybe you shot with two cameras, two different cameras, therefore different RAW formats. Maybe you had a Nikon around your neck and a Fuji. I don't know, I'm just making this up. But they have different RAW file formats. You could come in here and say, hey, I don't want the Nikons because I'm primarily a Fuji shooter, for example. And you could say exclude the NEF, which is the RAW file format for Nikons. I'm not going to do that, and I shoot Sony anyway. But that's an example of how you can refine the search. So I've got this similarity threshold set on loose, near duplicates, current view, which is the folder I'm in. I'm going to start search, and it's 549 photos didn't really take that long as you can see now once this comes up you can either click to show the duplicates which i'll do in a second or you can open the flagging assistant i'll go ahead and open the flagging assistant and you can see this basically gives you some options for how to flag your photos there's a preset option up here so you could say i want to reject everything except for the raws or maybe i want to accept all raw jpeg pairs you can see you can basically refine how you flag photos which is a nice uh, addition to this product um, in the advanced settings, you can choose the type of flag that you want to apply. Maybe you want to assign a reject flag or an accept flag. So let's say I want to accept all the JPEGs that are rated and all the RAWs that are unrated. And I want to accept all these. I could then automatically flag the photos and apply those settings. I'm going to uncheck those. And let's say the opposite is true. Maybe I want to reject some of these. So I could come in here and I could just say, hey, XR, I want to go through all the RAWs. And if they're unrated, I want to reject them. And just to, I could apply that flag because once you have a reject flag applied, you can then, from the duplicate menu, delete those photos. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to click cancel, and I'm going to go in and take a look at some of these duplicates. So at events like these, what happens for me is there's a lot of photographers, there's also a lot of models, and therefore I'm taking a lot of photos because what's happening is there may be multiple photographers shooting a model who's maybe posing in a certain way. Each of us may be calling out instructions. Hey, move your hand like this, tilt your head, do something like that, maybe shift your shoulders, those kind of things. And so what happens is I end up taking a whole lot of photos that are really similar. XR has helped me find those quickly because what I wanna do is sort through and say, I wanna get rid of the ones that I don't really need and that I know I'm not gonna edit. So as I scroll through here, you can see that there's a lot of similarities in these photos because they're only very slightly different. We were up on a rooftop, had actually a beautiful sunset. I was taking some photos of that as well. So for each photo, you can see there's also a menu here that you can click on to open up and you can apply a star rating, a color label, or mark it as accept or reject. Many of these I've actually already accepted. Let's say for this photo, I've decided that one's not really very good. It's an accept rating. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that as reject instead. And you can see that now, if I click off it, the photo is basically kind of hazy or faded. So visually, you get a cue as to whether it's an accept or a reject. And now that I've got that marked as a reject, I can come up here to the delete button and it will allow me to delete that photo. One photo will be removed, but notice you're either removing it from XR Photo or deleting from your device. Note that it also says if you're deleting a photo from the device it's actually going to move it to your system trash so it's still not technically gone in case for some reason you make a mistake i'm going to cancel that i'm going to change this back to an accept but that gives you a good idea of how that works now let me show you another example using this on some landscape photos so i want to get down here there's this green belt area by my house that when it rains it's got some nice water in it and i just like to shoot nature and waterfalls so there's 1232 photos in here but many of these are bracket sets as you can kind of see if i go through these you can see a lot of these are bracket sets well maybe what i want to do is come in and do a duplicate search I'm going to do current view, near duplicate, I'll say medium threshold. I don't need any filters. Oh, actually, what I want to do here is sequence or burst, not near duplicates. And I'm going to go with an eight second time span between the photos because these are bracket sets, especially in a lot of these are in daylight. There's not going to be more than eight seconds. I'm going to start search, let that go through, and it takes a moment and it found 949 duplicates. So. I'm going to skip the flagging assistant and just go straight to the duplicate finder. And if you look through here, you can see it's grouped them all accordingly. And these are all bracket sets and it's figured out what goes together and what's duplicates and things like that. Each of these is considered a group of duplicates, each of these lines or rows. 
Now here's an example of something where you can actually expand this menu. It's got seven photos here across, but you can actually see that in some cases it says more or all. I can expand that and there's another one. So this is a bracket set of a lot of different photos. It's actually seven photos and this is a really old HDR that I did. But let's say I wanted to come back and maybe just edit one of these photos. I would want to search through, find the best one. And for me, it's going to be probably kind of that middle exposure. Then I could quickly and easily come in and reject the other ones. And in fact, Let's say I go to this group here and I look at these and I think, you know, I don't really like any of these brighter ones. I could just shift click all of those and then come down here and mark them as rejects as a group. And so now all three of those are marked as rejects. I could come to delete and it's going to say three photos will be removed. So you can basically get things done a little bit more quickly by highlighting specific photos in any of these groups. So that's a run through of how the XR Photo Duplicate Finder can really help you sort through a lot of photos quickly to find the best ones. And honestly, you could even use it to remove photos in order to save space in your storage device. So I was already using XR for automatic keywording, of course, but also this search and being able to find not just by keyword, but also find faces or find similar photos. But now with the duplicate finder edition, you can really specify that search, get super targeted and find them quickly helping you to get to the photos you need to get to and remove the ones that you don't need. So that's my summary of XR Photo 2022 with the Duplicate Finder. Hope you found this useful, my friends. Now, if you like this video, I think you're really going to enjoy that one about XR Photo. Check that out if you haven't already. And thanks for coming by, my friends. You guys take care. And until next time, adios.